Hey everybody, it's Quicken and welcome back to another Tattoo Talk Tuesday. Today I have a really cool episode planned. Um, it's a bit of a mistake because I did receive a Tattoo Talk little question from Ivy Branding on Instagram here. And then I thought about it all week, I called some friends, I got some connections, and then I reread her question just now and it is not what I originally thought. So I'm really sorry. Um, I will explore this another day. I thought her question was, do you have specific tattoo clothing that you heal your tattoos in and receive your tattoos in? But she meant tattoo clothing that you show off in. I'm gonna save that for another week. Today's episode is all about tattoo clothes that you receive your tattoos in and that you heal your tattoos in. So I don't know about you, but I have things in my closet that are primarily purchased and stored for tattoo healing purposes. I'm not as tattooed as I like to pretend I am, obviously because the bulk of my channel is tattoo related stuff. And if this is your first time here, Tattoo Talk Tuesday is every Tuesday. It is a fan-generated Q&A discussion from me to you, all about tattoo discussions. And it's not just like, here's my tattoo. I like to reach out to you and hear what you want to know. So if you want to catch up on Tattoo Talk Tuesday, I will leave a playlist down below and give this video a thumbs up, show your support and get this video out there so Tattoo Talk Tuesday can go on and on and on and on. Anyway, back to the subject, clothes I like to get tattooed in. I reached out to two of my favorites, Justine and Jeffrey, you've seen them on this channel before, about how they like to heal their tattoos as well as me. So stay tuned for some of my favorite tattoo healing and receiving outfits. So I started off with this t-shirt. I actually got this from a uh, stay home club um, online. I can leave a link to that because I think that she's awesome. She does amazing things, amazing customer service. What I really like about this shirt is these are those tri-blend kind of American apparel style, sh style shirts. Um, they don't necessarily have to be American apparel, but these are the softest shirts I own. I have, this is my closet. <laughs> I have so many of these shirts that I just love for healing purposes. Here's another one, and this is actually for true hands. But I love these kinds of shirts, these American tri-blend kind of shirts, because they are so soft on the skin that while I'm getting tattooed, I love to have something really soft and comfortable, but also these will not irritate the skin the same way a harder cotton would, like a Hanes t-shirt, for example. These kind of slide over my skin and I love it. Especially for sternum tattoos, upper arm. These are such a really chill, very soft, kind of like bedtime kind of clothing, but they are very nice and aesthetic to view. So you can wear these outside, especially if you are getting your stomach tattooed, um, something like that, your back. When I get my back done, I know I'm gonna be reaching for both of these shirts. So here I am naked. Well, this is how I feel naked. But when I was getting my sternum tattoo and for some of my shark tattoo, I loved wearing sports bras. I got a ton of questions what to wear for your sternum tattoo. And this is just a really nice sports bra. If you are worried about the shop being a little cold, a little whatever, wear a bra underneath of the sports bra. But I like this because my tattoo artist was able to get right up in there and I still felt like I had a ton of clothing on. So the way I like to heal my sternum tattoo, the way I liked to heal this tattoo here is with button up t-shirts. When I like to heal my tattoos, especially for my shark tattoo, I went no bra. And I really recommend going no bra. I'm sorry about this. I have asked John if I could take it down. He said no. When I go no bra, I don't want anyone to know, and I'm not the biggest chest on the block. But my advice to anyone out there is nice button-up shirts. This is actually a flannel shirt. It just has a crazy design instead of a plaid design. And for me, it's really easy to just gently slide this on, especially, you know, you're in a lot of pain, and then button it up. And 
what I like about these shirts is this is a dark shirt so nothing is gonna show no high beam action no nip slips and you can just get a really nice comfortable button-up shirt and I think that is the best way because it is still loose enough on my back that I'm not feeling anything and right here but I still have the freedom to healing any sort of hip tattoo can be really difficult again I really recommend getting leggings these are actually fleece line leggings from Uniqlo and the way that the fleece kind of touches the skin on the inside is very soft and very non-abrasive so I actually wore um, leggings to get this because I could just pull them down and if the artist was taking a break or anything I could kind of nicely slide these back up so I wouldn't feel so naked in the shop. I also recommend fleece line leggings if you are healing any leg tattoos in the winter just nicely putting them up maybe keeping your hands on the inside and pulling the fabric up and then placing it over the tattoo very nicely and then you are good to go. So obviously when you go to get your feet tattooed you're gonna be barefoot but what do you wear while you're healing your feet tattoos i get this question all the time and i think your best options are going barefoot as much as possible and doing as many chill stay home activities as possible just seeing primarily stayed home as much as she could while healing her t feet tattoos. While you're home, you can throw on a pair of slippers. These slippers kind of look like flats, but you can see they are fleece lined and really easy against your tattoo. If you have to go out for some reason, you have some options. They make flats that go so far out that they reveal the toe knuckle, as I like to say. And although you may experience some irritation with these kinds of shoes, you can see here that her tattoo would have just hit the tip of there. If you have to go outside, I think this is your best bet, but you may still experience some irritation. I know for boys, slip-on vans are the best way to go, and for girls too. And if you are like me, grab yourself some fleece-lined socks and put on your favorite fleece line boots, and you'll be good to go. When you're healing your leg tattoos, you have a couple routes that you can take. One of my all-time favorites, of course, is a kind of schoolgirl flowy skirt and knee-high socks. When I was healing my upper thigh tattoo, knee-high socks and skirts saved my life. Especially if it's in the summer, you have that little bit of breeze, but you don't have to worry about any dirt, any puddles, any gravel, getting against your skin and irritating your tattoo. These are from American Apparel and they're really nice, really soft, but not super tight against the skin. So you can easily take your hands and slide the sock up your leg and then release it. If you were like me and got some tattoos while you had to be in uniform, my school dress code was pretty strict, whereas I had to wear everything covered all the time. And you guys know I got a couple banging leg tattoos this year, but there were still some things, still a little couple things I couldn't get around. So I'm really happy that this year and the last couple years, trousers are super in trend. I have these trousers right here with like the little drawstring and you can see that these are super loose. Sometimes people call them pajama pants. I call them trousers, but they are super loose against the skin and they allow for lots of breathability. I wore these in the summer. I have these in every color I feel like because I love them so much. They have a great pocket and you can see that they just gently hit against the skin there and you are on your way. So when Justine said that she got her stomach tattoo, she said that she liked to wear sheer and bathing suit tops along with loose sheer tops. So I like to recommend this tank top. You can see that it has sheer elements to it which will make it light and breezy, but putting it over her stomach was super nice because you're just able to lightly put it over 
And there's still a ton of excess room for healing. And it is light and non-abrasive for healing your stomach. So when Jeff got his back tattooed and is frequently getting work done on his back tattoo, he recommended the easy old loose band t-shirt. Just gently putting that on and over your tattoo. But I have a feeling he mostly goes shirtless. When I asked him about how his tattoo goes onto his lower back, he says that he just wears a loose, looser pair of pants for that couple of days. So I hope that covered about any, everything. Thank you for our, thank you to our special guests for coming on Tattoo Talk Tuesday to talk about their tattoos and what they like to wear while they heal their tattoos. Thank you guys for watching and submitting and showing your support. I love you guys so much. Give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friend, put it out there in the atmosphere. Tell me what you like and don't forget to tell me what kind of tricks you have for healing your tattoos. Um, I also have a video completely dedicated to how I heal my tattoos and an entire series dedicated to Tattoo Talk right here. Subscribe and stay tuned for next week, Five Fact Friday, Tattoo Talk Tuesday. I love you guys so much. Let me know what you want to see coming up this year. And until next time, bye. I hope these are on the right feet. God, reveal your canvas. You do have what it takes to be Ink Master. Holler at your boy for some fucking tatties and shit, huh? You came so <laughs> far this season. There was lots of trouble in the house when Ethan came along. If I was a master canvas though, my ass would be like a wedgie. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Well, you'd only be wearing a thong. Yeah.